Web Hosting Control Panel cPanel Video Tutorials How to log into cPanel What you need to do is have a browser open. You need to have access to your IP address of the web server where your account was created and your hosting provider will be able to give you that. Once you've got your IP address of the server where your hosting account was created, you can enter that in and you can either put slash cPanel or colon 2082. Your hosting provider should provide you with the URL, which is this address area here, by which you can enter in those details in your address bar of your browser and that will take you to your control panel login page. So if you have your domain name that's been changed over to point to your new hosting account, you may be able to specify the actual domain name. And in this case, it could be slash cPanel off your domain name, or it could be colon 2082 off your domain name as well. But for the sake of this exercise, I'm going to show you how to access it via the IP address. So your web hosting provider will give you that. You then head over to this location. You put in your username and the password that was either you created or they created for you. And you push OK. That will then load up. And you will have your theme. cPanel theme. This particular theme is X3. That's the name of the theme. You may not have X3, you may have perhaps X, you may have a, a totally custom theme. Either way, you're going to be presented with a bunch of uh, basic statistics over here on the left, which you can expand using the X3 theme. And it will tell you all about your particular account. You'll also have access to all the icons that are on the right hand part of the screen. And these icons allow you to access different areas of the control panel, which allow you to do different things. So as you can see up the top, we've got some preferences here. We'll go through these in later tutorials. We've got mail related icons. We've got file based related icons. We've got uh, logs, which are extremely important. We'll go through those in later tutorials security based icons these are also very important and we have some extra domain icons that you may need databases very important if you want to run anything with a database you'll need to be familiar with this area here uh, lots of great stuff in the software and services area each hosting provider will vary slightly uh, as to what they offer in their control panels and uh, so if you do see an icon here that's not in your control panel, um, don't fret, it's fine. If you, if you are familiar with the control panel and you don't see an icon in here, likewise, it's not a big deal. Each provider produces their own control panel um, as, as they see fit. So then we have some leftover icons down here that are just as important. So we're going to go through every single one of these icons and not just how to use them, but explain why you would use them. And this is a great failing with several other tutorials out there that you might find is that they don't go through the explanation as to why. Well, that ends the first tutorial. Be sure to check out all of our other cPanel tutorials to learn how to use the great features of your web hosting account and build your online business.